Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about the invention of wheels. Hey, buddy. It seems you enjoy riding a bicycle. You were able to ride a bicycle because of the invention of wheels. The wheel is perhaps man's greatest invention. One of the greatest benefits of the wheel is transportation, the movement of materials and people. Here's an old wooden wheel kept in the museum. Hmm. How did the wheel come into existence? Let me explain all about this. So, man first began to tame animals for his own use. The first animal to be tamed was the dog. The man soon discovered that a pack of dogs could pull a fairly heavy load. He made a frame of sticks, placed loads on it, and made dogs pull it. This vehicle was called a sled. Early men joined three planks of wood together, which were nearly round in shape. They put it on the bottom side of the sled, and found that the sled was easier to move on ice or hard surfaces. The earliest wheels were used as potter's wheels. They were invented in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, about 5,500 years ago. They were actually used by potters to shape clay. Later wheels were fitted to carts, so that humans can move the objects comfortably. Some of the early wheels were solid discs of wood cut from tree trunks. Others were made from short wood planks, some rounded, some ovals, and few others amorphous. Around 2000 BC, someone came up with the revolutionary idea of cutting out pieces of wood to make the wheel faster, easier, and lighter. Then the discovery of metals helped greatly in making larger and better wheels. A strip of metal placed around the outer circumference of the wheel gave it a smoother running surface. As wheels grew bigger, they became heavier too. Something had to be done to make the large wheels lighter. Someone had a clever idea when they invented the axle, a rod that passed through a hole in the center of the wheel. Turning the axle turns the entire wheel, saving both energy and time. Later, with time, roads improved, light carriages began to be made and used. It had become a race between the road and the wheel. Towards the end of the 19th century, the wheels of motor vehicles were fitted with solid rubber tires. In 1888, John Boyd Dunlop invented the air-fueled pneumatic tire. This tire enabled the wheel to prove its true value as a remarkable invention. These wonderful tires were used on cycles, motor cars, airplanes, and various other machines. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye!